All right, my revivers, this was requested that I show how I put my groceries up after a haul. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so yeah, this is the before. And I'm gonna start doing these because I don't know if I'm gonna get into the videos where I unload and show y'all everything as I go. But this is the before, what the refrigerator looks like before I organize and put anything new into it. So yeah, this is it. And I'll be back after it's put up. I thought I was joking. I really wasn't joking. It's really empty. We got almonds, granola, pretzels. Like, really empty. So, I want to clear that out and start using different containers, I think. My coffee is empty. Yep. Alright, y'all gonna see it full. And so, this is the refrigerator. Nice and full. Put all the oranges in there. It's not organizing. I just kind of toss it in here. Your girl is so tired. I have so much to do and tend to my baby girl who doesn't feel good. So she didn't go to school today <laughs> again. So I got all the berries, the kids, and all that stuff down there. I wasn't with doing anything special. I really wasn't. So this is the refrigerator. This is the freezer. We still got more stuff to get for the freezer. Um, but we'll probably do that on a weekly basis and the butter and the cream cheese is full mayo and all that so that's that for the refrigerator this is the snack cabinet um that's what we have going on here i got this is like all my teas and stuff like that there hot cocoa i refilled this y'all and didn't dry it out good but oh well my coffee and pickles and all that stuff good stuff there now we don't have a pantry so we utilize the bottom of this area here and i will be doing a live unboxing on that so the bananas are there mangoes are there all the well it was only um new the raisin bread that's put in there with the other breads these are the ends from the other loaf that i took out that are going to be drying out and down here i got the cereals in the container i cleaned them out i refilled the flour um, I put the cereal, the little bit of cereal that was in there, up there. The buttermilk um, ranch. We've already had noodles. I didn't buy those. Um, they kind of like those, so I'm not going to take those away from them as of yet. Hopefully, we slowly get away from them because we all like them. I don't know what I'm thinking. We all like them. So, I put the jasmine rice there and the powdered sugar. The remaining after I fill up the container there. On this side, I took all the canola oil. I didn't realize I had a whole nother bottle in here, so I put it in there. This is the vinegar we already had, so I took the other one downstairs. I should have filled the pancake mix, which I think I'm getting ready to do. Pancake waffle mix. That's what's in that container there. So this is like my little mini pantry. My soaps, olive oils, the raw sugar is there, baking soda, ketchup, hot sauce, syrup back there. We get all that in bulk. Um, lemon juice, oats oils then i got extra jars for like fish grease if we have fish we um and the fish grease can be used again we'll put it in there then i have down here the extra juices epsom salt and the extra soaps which this one of these need to go downstairs and it's gonna probably be time to get more trash bags we probably buy trash bags maybe once a year right babe i don't think we've ever bought trash bag two time a year right Close to like, like I'm saying like maybe every nine months we got to get the trash bags. Maybe. So that's, um, these are the great value. I mean the members mark. And I shared these with y'all before. And look, we still got a nice amount. These are from his mom. And some other from his mom. Another one downstairs? I don't know, babe. I don't know. But anywho. Uh, yeah. So that's our little area, not all organized today. Sorry guys, <laughs> it's just what it is. Okay, so over here, oh, I refilled the sugar, refilled the olive oil, put some canola oil, which was left from one of the containers and it was a whole new one Then I bought one and it was a big half of the bulk one. Yeah, so I put it all in, put it all in one thing. So I refilled the cornmeal, refilled the powdered sugar, cornstarch is all right um i gotta get some elbows and that's basically it up in here and there is nothing organized my recipe box um i wish granddad i wish where my grandfather's was i got some recipes from him but i want to make sure like if something you know when i get old 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 you know and live a long long life and 
and be about my way that um my kids can find my recipes and have my recipes to share with my if they intend on having children grandchildren and all that good stuff so this is where we put the excess stuff so i got some strawberry jam here got some in the refrigerator we got some extra salsa here and my aunt gave us so many pizza crust um so many of these nor rices <laughs> that's back there and I have these are pecans I just bought so I put them up there but I still got a teeny bit back there which I'll probably use make some pecan balls or something like that um some taco shells which we're probably going to use because I think I want to do our meatless tacos which if you haven't seen them they are the bomb and I made them on a live so yeah that's what we got going on I think those are all the areas oh one more area the little rack I put the onions up here sweet potatoes here and then I put the bag of potatoes in here and it was a couple down there that's my water I let sit overnight to get all the fluoride and chlorine and all that stuff out of it for the um, or chlorine and all the stuff out of it for my plant so I just sit that there and then I fill up my little watering can um, when it needs to be filled because it's easier to um, water with that so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video showing me how showing you how i packed my food after a huge grocery haul love you guys thumbs up the video and i will see you guys later gators and if you are new make sure you subscribe and become a reviver later y'all